Here is probably the nicest liver you will ever see microscopically. Uh, another thing I want to say is that there's really no reason to freak out about the liver. You, if you think it's some complex thing you'll never understand, then you have defeated yourself. Really, the liver is extremely simple as long as you remember a few basic things, which I'm going to tell you right now. Well, first of all, no surprise, this little bit of fibrous connective tissue at the edge is probably the true capsule of the liver. And like every capsule, it's mostly fibrous tissue. And because the liver is intraperitoneal, if you saw a few uh, mesothelial cells on the very uh, surface of this connective tissue, like perhaps, oh, maybe here, for example, then you can guess uh, that this was the uh, capsule of the liver, which is also the visceral uh, peritoneum of the liver. Let's go back down, and I want you to try to remember one thing forever. You, even though the liver lobules are classically described as being hexagonal, H-E-X-A-G-O-N-A-L, -L, in other words, like little hexagons, it's very, very rare to actually see perfect hexagons. So what you have to do is look for the little open spaces like this, which is a central vein. And then you have to imagine that in various areas surrounding the central vein, which has no connective tissue, you're going to see other veins like here and here and here and here and here, which have connective tissue because these are portal veins. So you have to imagine, even if it's not there, the so-called hexagonal architecture of liver lobules. And once you do that, that's the only thing you have to do because any alterations of those lobules in various ways is the basis for all liver disease. So here's a central vein. Here's a sinusoid opening up into a central vein. Here's a portal vein because it has connective tissue and a bile duct and maybe a little artery. Here's a portal vein because it's bigger and it looks like it has some connective tissue. Maybe we'll find a little portal uh, hepatic artery and a bile duct here. Here's a portal vein here. Here's a portal vein here. Here's probably a portal vein. Here's definitely a portal vein because you can see connective tissue. Here's definitely a big portal vein because you could see the artery here and the bile duct here. But let's look at the center portion of the labial. Here is the central vein. Here is a sinusoid opening into a central vein. Here, all these cells with central round nuclei are hepatocytes. All of these cells near the hepatocytes, which have sort of spindly nuclei, are going to be Kupfer cells, or the so-called reticuloendothelial cells. So I can promise you, whereas every single round nuclei here is a hepatocyte, if you see something a little spindly, like here, or here, or here, or here, these are going to be the macrophages of the liver, which are called Kupfer cells. And really, except for the portal veins and central veins, everything in the liver is either a Kupfer cell or a hepatocyte. Everything in the central vein is nothing more than an endothelial lined vascular surface. Everything in a portal triad and I'll find a good one because it's very hard to find portal triads which contain classically everything. So let's find this one because it looks like it has everything. We can see a uh, large vein, which is the portal vein. We could see probably a bile duct right here because it looks like it has epithelium surrounding it. We could see probably a hepatic artery branch. So that's why they call it the triad. The hepatic artery, the large portal vein, and the bile duct. That's what makes it a triad. Also, please notice that there's some connective tissue here, 
which is pretty well delineated from the surrounding hepatocytes. Uh, in central veins, there is no fibrous connective tissue around the vein. So here we have, I hope you can understand that this is the basis for understanding all liver histology. The portal veins, which are large spaces with connective tissue, the central veins, which are large spaces with no connective tissue, these little streaks between the two, which are the hepatic cords consisting of only hepatocytes, the spindly cells, in contrast to the perfectly round central nuclei of the hepatocytes, which are the cup for cells. And we've got everything. The only thing left is the boring thing, which is this little bit of connective tissue of the capsule. And maybe, if we're lucky, a mesothelial cell representing the parietal uh, serosa of the uh, liver. And we are done. But I'm also going to show you next a slide in which differentiates Kupfer cells from hepatocytes very well because it's going to be a slide in which carbon particles were injected. And the gobbling up Kupfer cells are going to stand out like a sore thumb. Otherwise, when you look at this, sometimes it's hard to differentiate Kupfer cells from hepatocytes other than the fact that you know that hepatocytes have to have round nuclei. And Kupfer cells like here and maybe here and maybe here are more spindly. Thank you very much.